it. <laughs> You're amazing. Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. We are currently in Nusa Penida. We are just packing our bags at the moment, getting ready to head off to Nusa Lombongan. We've really enjoyed Nusa Penida. One thing that we will say is that the Wi-Fi is quite spotty here, and for us working online, it's not very ideal. It could just be where we've been staying, but also when we'd head to the cafe as well, we found that the Wi-Fi wasn't that good there either. It kind of just goes in and out, and it wasn't ideal for us doing like coaching calls and stuff. So we're hoping in Nusa Lombongan that the Wi-Fi will be uh, a lot better there. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Oi, what are you doing? Little kitty cat. So apparently the boat from Panita to Lombongan, everyone I've spoken to says you just basically go down to the harbour, jump on a boat, and when it's full, it'll leave. So ho hopefully we're not the only ones going to Lombongan today. <laughs> we might be waiting for a while. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna have the worst allergy attack now. You're worth it. <laughs> so we've been moving around a lot since we left Ubud. Uh, we've been staying in pretty much a different place every night. So we're a little bit exhausted. We need to do laundry. We really want to get a massage. We haven't been sleeping that well. This place that we stayed in last night is really beautiful, um, but the walls are paper thin, which, yeah, enough said. <laughs> so we're hoping that we can find somewhere in Lombongan that's a little bit quieter and somewhere that we can stay for a few days and like get some errands and you know laundry and that sort of stuff done and we also have a very important task for this weekend which is to find the best pub to watch the UFC at <laughs> that's right task number one is to find the best pub <laughs> that's a fun fact about us Lloyd and I are very big UFC fans and there is a lot of Australians fighting this weekend and it's sort of Australia versus New Zealand if you watch UFC you will understand so hopefully we can find somewhere that has it on with the sound so we can watch it it will be on like fairly early in the morning here but we don't care we really just want to see it so we know it's gonna be good we gotta pack the rest of our things and we're gonna be heading off soon basically wait. I saw the list, we were number one and two, but he said maximum one hour, so I think we'll just get a coffee yeah. or something to eat and just wait and they'll call us out, cool. call out a name when they're ready. I'll just ask if we can leave our bags here.
little bit more chaotic than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, um, a fast boat's really fast and wet. Yeah. If you do take it, sit at the front because we sat at the back and we got absolutely drenched. <laughs> Couldn't get any footage. I had to put the camera away pretty quick because, um, yeah, it was just too much water. So much water. But it took like five minutes. Yeah, and someone met us right at the shore, um, negotiated a price for the scooter, and um, he's just going to grab us at an NMAX. So we've got it for five days. So we're probably going to be on Lombongan for five days. Yeah, luckily I checked with our scooter guy from Changu and he told me how much we should pay here so it's about a hundred thousand a day so he's going to get that for us and then um, he's gonna take our luggage to the hotel that we're staying at and then we're just gonna chill and then maybe head out for dinner <laughs> Place looks really good, but um, don't seem to be anyone here. Just trying to call them. Lunch break, maybe? Yeah, maybe. This is super strange. We've got to where we're supposed to be staying and it just is like deserted. There's no one here. We can't find anyone. I really have to pee. Mm. Is someone coming? Who's <laughs> pregnant on us? This room is so nice. This is way better than I expected. <laughs> I think it was um, 250,000 a night through booking.com. So good, we might stay here for a little while. It looks pretty dead in Lombongan on the drive-in, but yeah, we'll see how we go here. We'll definitely be here for at least three or four days. Also, a group of about 10 young Indonesian boys just checked out as we were checking in, which I think is probably a good thing. <laughs> they look like they were partying, so. Yeah, see how we go.
So the owner actually came and met us and he apologized for being late and explained why, which was totally fine, but he's been really accommodating. He's um, taking us down to the restaurant, which they own. It's part of the resort here. And we're gonna check out the lunch down there. And he's also offered us a really decent price to um, stay in this room, which is an upgrade, which we didn't know. Yeah, and yeah. It's a really nice room. It's huge. It's the biggest room we've probably stayed in since we've been in Bali. I think things have been pretty quiet here, so he's just happy to have some tourists, but we're, we love it here so far. We'll yeah. Check it out. Um, yeah, so we'll leave the link to this place down in the description because it's awesome and the owners are just really beautiful and really accommodating. So we'll leave that there for you guys. coming here there was two different places that we were recommended were the best places to stay so mushroom beach was one and jung but fatu <laughs> i think is how you say it probably not make fun of me in the comments it was the other one that we were recommended so we're going we're currently in mushroom beach so we're gonna go check out the other beach now here it's almost like this was once the main spot where everyone hangs out and surfs I think playground surf break is just up there um, there's lots of boats sitting out there but Good people. been a really cool beach club and beach but it just feels like it hasn't been operating for a while everything's dead even the pool it looks like it's just old moldy water it's a shame it looks really cool here hello hey hello it's just us and the dogs here. <laughs> it's actually really surprising. Noosa Panita was way busier than Lebongan, which I thought would be the opposite because uh, Lebongan's got a lot more restaurants and infrastructure, but I guess Noosa Panita has all the sightseeing tours that people do. Yeah, yeah. I guess here is more just for like, yeah, coming to stay in a resort more. It's dead. It's so dead here. Yeah, but like, I like it here probably better than Panita. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a bit of a bummer. I would love to see it in its prime, but yeah, not much going on at the moment. Watch me Just follow every move Touch me Let me know you want it to Don't have what you need
We just did a quick little drive over to Nusa Chenigan and it is very dead. It sucks because it looks like there's so many cool little bars on the beach there that we'd really like to try and I just, I really want to come back here when it's happening and busy again. It's really sad. I feel like we missed out. <laughs> so we were planning on hunting down the best sports bar in town to watch the UFC at, but I think this setup might be a little bit better. 